Alright, Schlockmaster fans, by request from Marty, we're going to watch another 80s teen sex comedy. This one's called Spring Break. Let's check it out. Alright, these are the boys on their way to Fort Lauderdale for Spring Break. And their hotel room. Nelson wasn't supposed to come. We're talking cruel He's supposed to be working on his dad's campaign. Work on his goddamn campaign. Campaign? It's not even off the ground yet. Shit. The hotel owner is being pressured to sell to her former brother-in-law. I'm busy. What do you want? Guess what? I still got a hot buyer for this stuff. You can turn around and march your ass out of here. I'm not selling this hotel. They end up having to share the room with two other guys on spring break. I really need this. Oh, honey, I'm sorry. I don't know what to say. Every room in town's booked. What? Now he finds He's out. Gone. Nelson's gone. He's supposed to be organizing the canvassers, putting out the mailing list, doing at least six other things. God damn it, he'll cripple me. Back in Florida, the drunkenness abounds. That's his stepdad, actually. Well, of course it's Nelson. <laughs> they send him out to buy pot. You think it's too much? No, no, that's not, no. No, that's fine. As you expect, there's a lot of eye candy in this movie. A lot of beat shots, girl watching. Hotel, it's my stepson. Wrong with him. He hires a private There's investigator. Wrong with him. He's in Fort Lauderdale. I want him found. No sooner said than done. One of the guys takes a fancy to the lead singer of the girl band as penthouse pet Corin Alfin. Boys are hanging out down by the dock, and he notices the cutthroat too, which he recognizes as his stepfather's boat. here. Your stepfather? Yeah, my stepfather. Oh, shit. Boys also go to see a female boxer pound the crap out of a male. No 80s sex comedy would be complete without the obligatory wet t-shirt contest. Nelson then meet, meets the good girl, Susie. You know, I, I saw you the other day. Playing Galaga. You were at... You used your drone shield here. Like this? Yeah, a little, yeah. No one can use spring break of being sexist because we also have a t-shirt contest. Part of the campaign, they're looking for Nelson. They end up going back to a hotel together, or her room, I should say. And she sends him out to get a Coke. The dope isn't going to remember what room he was in. He ended up getting kicked out of the hotel, never found her. Found his roommate, though. still don't know where my underpants are. Why, what happened to him? I think they ate him. But the next day, he does find her. She's participating in the bikini contest. 
So they hook up again, but then the detective finds him. Now Nelson's on the run from the bad guys. Here's Nelson taking a whiz on an alligator. The alligator bit down on his pants and pulled him away. He had to take him off. Which is the perfect segue into sex with Susie on the beach. Which is all well and good until the next morning when he's found. Here he is in all his glory. The honor student. The future lawyer. The candidate son. No, real fair, real fair. Two against one, right? I'm wearing a towel. You better control yourself, young what, what happened? Where's Nelson? They took him. Who, the guys from last night? They just shoved him in the car and drove away. It was terrible. Raines has something here that he likes. They're closing the hotel down. Take it away, Mr. Raines. In violation of its safety code, the Unsafe Buildings Commission hereby orders the Breeze and Seas Motel closed until further notice. It's Operation Rescue Nelson. Nice to see you, too. Sorry. Who was that? Probably just a fish jumping. They get Nelson out of there, but then the chase is on. It all culminates at the Breeze and Seas Hotel. A big fight between the good guys and the bad guys. Turns out, from Mr. Dalby, his stepdad bribed the play, bribed the guy to shut the place down. A bribe to close the motel. That's a lie. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Is that a lie? I have to talk about any bribe. They cut a deal. They won't tell about the bribe to the press if they reopen the hotel. It's a deal. Meanwhile, Nelson's mom is going to divorce him now. No! You go alone and get used to it. Because not only am I leaving you with nothing, I am leaving you furious. Fine, fine. Have you little care. The hotel is saved. Two of the guys ended up with a girl. And everybody's happy. All right. The movie Spring Break. Let's talk about this. I haven't seen this movie in a long, long time. It's one of the first movies I ever taped, probably back in the first 25 or 30 movies. I had it on a Sony beta tape with the movie Crawl, Crawl and Spring Break. I saw it several times back in the 80s, but honestly, I don't think I've seen this in well over 20, maybe even 25 years. Um, you see it a lot in the 80s, even the, I've probably seen it once in the last 30 years, put it that way. But I remembered uh, quite a bit out of it, actually. Um, Anyway, what we got here is a story about uh, a couple of guys, college kids, who are on their spring break, and they go down to Fort Lauderdale, as college kids do. Um, they're down there just to party, have fun, get laid, whatever they, whatever they can do, get drunk. Um, the, our main character here, his name is Nelson. His dad is, like, running for Senate, um, and he's in the middle of a campaign, and his I, I, I'm not sure if it's his dad or his stepdad, but anyway... Um, he didn't want him, he's supposed to be there to help for the campaign, but he just decided to ditch him and go down to Florida, or go down to Fort Lauderdale. Um, so the dad, he's kind of an asshole too. He vows to find him, get him, once he finds out that he's not there, he's got to find him and he hires somebody to try to get him back. The boys stay at this hotel and they end up getting a couple of roommates whose room got canceled or something. So there's four guys in a hotel. The hotel is actually trying to be bought out by the owner, she's a woman, uh, her step brother or, or half brother or something like that is trying to buy out the property and she doesn't want to sell of course and apparently this guy is also in cahoots with the senator or the guy running for senate he's trying to make sure this property has gone to I don't know it's kind of a convoluted mess there the majority of the film is just basically the guy is just wandering around partying having fun wet t-shirt contests uh, belly flop contests just uh drunken behavior, having sex. That's basically what the movie is. Our main guy, Nelson, of course, he is um, kind of a nerdy guy. So he gets the good girl, Susie. 
Um, um, but other than that, the other guys are just having fun. Uh, one guy even mentions that he thinks they ate his underwear, uh, the women. Um, ultimately, uh, he is spotted by uh, the guy that uh, the senator uh, paid to track him down and kidnapped and taken onto his boat. Uh, the other three rescue him off the boat. And then uh, it turns out that the guy running for senator, governor, or whatever, was, was bribing somebody uh, to try to make get this hotel closed. So the boys basically blackmail him to uh, uh, release whatever claim he had on this hotel. So the hotel, which was going to be closed, is not going to stay open. I don't know. It's a, it's a mess. They're just trying to throw in a real plot into this movie. Um, Cheap Trick sang the uh, ending theme song, Spring Break. It's an hour and 41 minutes long. It's a little longer than movies like this t generally are, but it's full of nudity and it's got it's got everything you want from a teen sex comedy. It does exactly what it's designed to do. And the ladies in this movie uh, are beautiful. Um, Corin Alfin, otherwise known as Corin Wall, is she's the lead singer of the band in here. She was actually a penthouse pet. She's lip syncing. She's not really singing, uh, but the band was real. Um, and that brief scene I showed with the boxing lady, she was a uh, 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 like an 18 year old model and she disappeared shortly after the film was made and has never been seen since i don't know foul play probably anyway spring break um it is available on dvd i'll put a link down below to amazon however it looks like it's pretty pricey on amazon right now if you go on ebay you can get a little cheaper 15 to 20 dollar range uh, not a lot of copies of this floating around though and it seems to be sought after for whatever reason anchor bay put this out it's widescreen it's a nice copy so check it out spring break again recommended by marty thank you marty watch this movie let me know what you think about it leave some comments bye